Hey everyone, John here from Four Brewers and I'm back with another beer. Um, today's beer is a beer from Dogfish Head Craft Brewery. This is a beer they did in collaboration with the Flaming Lips. This beer is called Dragons and Yum Yums. Uh, this beer is uh, quintessentially Dogfish Head because it's made with a whole bunch of weird stuff. Um, I'm gonna read this. It's made with dragon fruit, yum berry, passion fruit, pear juice, and black carrot juice. It's a 6.5% pale ale and it's 25 IBU. Um, so yeah, this should be a very fruity beer. And like I said, they made this with the band Flaming Lips, uh, the Flaming Lips, I should say. And uh, the artwork is by Mark uh, Spusta. Again, that's pretty rad looking artwork right there. Like, especially that Flaming Lips part right there. That's pretty cool. So. Uh, as far as the artwork goes, 100%. They nailed it. Um, and everything else, we're about to find out. I don't even know what black carrot juice is, but here we go. Okay, so this beer comes in at kind of a, an orangey, pale kind of color. It's got a slightly pink head on it. Uh, it's a really, it's crystal clear, very effervescent beer. Looks really nice, but yeah, it's like a orange, orangish pink. Like it's, it's orange with like a, a slightly pink hue to it. Um, it's got a nice head on it. That, that head ain't nothing to fuck with. So hopefully I can sniff through the head and see what it smells like. Yeah, it smells like a whole bunch of fruit. Um, passion fruit's like uh, really big in this. Um, not quite sure what a yum berry is. I've never heard of a yum berry, um, let alone tasted one. Dragon fruit and passion fruit are both in this. Uh, dragon fruit, God, I swear I've had drank. Is that the fruit that has like the white insides with the black seeds? I think that's what it is. I'm not sure if I've had that just on its own. Uh, passion fruit, I kind of know what to expect there. You get that a lot, um, especially with these hazy IPAs and stuff. This is not a hazy IPA, but um, yeah, it's got a very, very fruity nose overall. Yeah, it's very, um, very clean smelling fruit. Um, not a lot of citrus kind of fruit, but more of like a, um, stone fruit, passion fruit, um, just really light fruity aromas, you know, like you would smell in a fruit bowl kind of thing. Maybe like melony kind of fruits, like melon kind of things. Uh, just really um, light and airy, I guess you could say. And again, that head is just hanging out. That's awesome. That's I like to see that. And that's pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, smells good. Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, that's pretty much what I thought it would taste like. Um, it's got a nice uh, uh, base malt profile. I mean, the perfect dryness, uh, again, the balance between dry and sweet and hoppiness, it's it's perfect for, it's exactly what you would expect from this beer. This isn't a hoppy beer. This is a fruity beer, um, almost uh, wine cooler-esque. Not as fruity as like a wine cooler, but um, it's got that, kind of vibe to it. Like it's very easy drinking and light and bubbly. I get a little little bit of an earthiness from it, a little bit of kind of like a grit, I think, um, from the mouthfeel. Yeah, it's like a savory kind of fruit character. Um, again, the mouthfeel on this is, is pretty great too. Like it's it's got the right amount of fluffiness to it. It's not super dry and like fruit punch, even though it tastes kind of like fruit punch. Um, it's got a nice tongue coating mouthfeel to it, but it gets out of the way really quick in the end, it dries up pretty fast. I think the citrus fruit aspect of this beer, even though I don't think any of these are citrus, um, they're not citrus. I keep looking at the screen right here that's got all the ingredients in it. Um, it has like a citrus note to it. I'm kind of hunting for the pear juice. Uh, pear juice is something that I can pick out pretty well. Pears are a weird fruit to me, like they're really kind of like gritty and sugary and they have a distinct flavor to them and I don't really get that with this. This tastes like they were very careful with the balance of the fruits and the black carrot juice, whatever the hell black carrot juice is. Is that like just a regular carrot but it's like darker and I don't know, sweeter? Is a darker carrot a sweeter carrot? Darker the carrot, the sweeter the juice? I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, uh, overall it's, it's a really good beer. I recommend picking up a, a six pack of it. Um, it's uh, it's nice to see Dogfish Head doing these weird beers again that actually makes sense. Not like the Ancient Ale series that 
They were using really wacky ingredients that people were wondering, why are you even using this in beer? They're using ingredients that make sense. So uh, like I said, I recommend picking it up. It's worth giving it a shot. Uh, it's probably good for people that don't normally drink craft beer. It's a you know nice gateway kind of, here's something you know kind of sweet and fruity and you might like this. Uh, it's, it's pretty good. So uh, yeah, pick it up. Thanks for watching the review. We'll see you next time.